I bet you have clicked on this video wondering did AI really build an entire website for a YouTube channel? The answer is yes and it's insane. You won't believe how automated this process is. Let me show you. This is no ordinary website. It updates itself, writes its own blog posts, even handles SEO and it's mobile friendly and completely free and so automated that it practically runs itself, all powered by AI. And here's the kicker. What started as a simple static page almost crashed and burned when I ran into a major roadblock but that's when Claude came to the rescue. It all started with the basics. I used bold.new to create a new static website in under 2 minutes. It creates a professional looking website within minutes and heck even deploys them to Netlify where you can configure it to point to your domain. I did the same. It was fast. It was simple. But it wasn't enough. I wanted something dynamic. I thought, what if my website could pull in my latest videos automatically? That's when the real adventure began. Of course, nothing ever goes as smoothly as you hope. I started by integrating the YouTube API so my website could automatically display my latest videos. Everything was going great until I hit this. The YouTube API has a daily quota limit and I hit it almost immediately. But AI came to the rescue. I used Cloud AI to write a caching system which allowed my website to pull data just once a day and save those precious API tokens. Next, I wanted to add a block section that could write itself. Sounds crazy, right? That's where Google's Gemini Pro API came in. With the help of Claude, I wrote a script which powered by Gemini Pro analyzes my video title and description, turns them into SEO friendly blogs and updates them automatically on the site. But automation didn't stop here. I use Claude AI again to write a GitHub action that schedules updates for my videos and blogs daily. Think of it as giving my website its own automated assistant. Let me show you how I build this from scratch step by step. Let's start. So for our static website I've opened bold.new and I've created this prompt for our website where I'm mentioning that I want it to create a professional engaging website for my channel and I've also asked it to include various sections like introduction, video tutorials, subscriber section, resources and at the end I have mentioned the color scheme which has to be used and I've asked it to ensure that the design is responsive and visually appealing across devices. Also I've asked it to incorporate a SEO friendly element for better visibility in search engines. So let's see how it goes. So you can see as soon as we give the prompt, it analyzes the prompt and it starts creating the website for us. See how fast it is. It has created the entire project structure with all the necessary files for the website and it will keep doing it until the website is created. So it has written the code. Now it is compiling the code and it is running the code. Let's see. So at times there are cases where it, there is problem in the code. You can just ask it to fix it and it will fix it for you. So you can see our website is ready with all the details that we had asked. It has included the subscribe button. It has added the sections for tutorials, resources. This is a home page with the tagline that we had given and it has all the section for latest video and it has the subscribe section. It has the resource section. Now what you can do is you can just click on deploy and it will deploy the website for you as well and it will deploy on Netlify and it will give you a link where you can claim the website and just point it to your domain. That's it. So you, you can see it has deployed our website and it has given us the link of the website as well and it is accessible anywhere in the world and the website is live within few minutes. Now you can claim this website as well by visiting this link. If you don't have a Netlify account, you can create it. So I have my Netlify account logged in. It is just asking me to add as a project. I have it added in my project. I just have to click on it and I can just set up a domain for it. If I just enter my domain name here and do the configuration with my domain provider, I'll be able to run this website with my domain as well. That's it. You can see how awesome this website is. It looks so professional and you can imagine it has created this website within two minutes. Few years ago for the same website, you had to hire a developer which would take 
more than a week to develop this and output might not have looked this good this is some professional work this is quality work so for my dynamic website i've created this prompt where i am asking it to create a dynamic website for my channel and i've asked it to pull the data using youtube data api i've also mentioned certain salient features of the website i've asked it to create a configuration file where i can save channel handle and api keys and i've described the home page which is quite similar to the youtube page as well because i want my website to look like youtube because i really like the interface for a video channel website and i've also asked it to create it in next.js 14 because it is easier to maintain the website because i really like this framework i've also asked it to re, uh, use a light thing ask it to ensure that the transitions are really smooth and there is proper error handling in the code and i've also asked it to create a responsive design along with seo optimization and i have also asked it to keep the performance high so that it is it loads really fast i have also asked it to include load animation similar to facebook which i really like so let's see what happens when we give this prompt so you can see it has almost created the code now it is building the packages it also clearly defines what it has done it also guides you what needs to be done to make this code run so i will have to replace our api key in the env.local so now i've added the api keys and you can see the website has loaded uh, this video preview is not showing because we are in a dev environment here although it will work once we move to the prod environment but you can see uh, how beautiful this website is created with just a single prompt now we can improve it by adding our logo and adding further pages but with just one prompt a fully dynamically working website it's insane at least for me when i was playing with the ui adding certain elements this happened my youtube api ran out of tokens and i was clueless how to solve this so i went to claude for the solution so i pasted the typescript file responsible for fetching the videos in the chat prompt and i asked claude to build a cache mechanism which restricts the api cost to youtube api and it is called only once a day so as you can see it has suggested all the code changes in the various typescript files that i have what new files had to be built next i asked it to create another page for the blog and i asked that the page should be dynamic and it should use the youtube videos available on the home page and it should fetch the database with the help of gemini pro api so let's see how it does i am amazed how good it is at adding new functionalities without breaking the previous ones so it has finished the code it has added the functionality let's see the code so you can see it has clearly mentioned how it is generated how you can run the script that is also mentioned it has added the blog link here as well and once we click on blog so it isn't working we'll have to work more on this one issue that i regularly faced with bolt was that i ran out of my daily tokens so to overcome this what i did was i downloaded the repository and imported it in my vs code and continued the work with cloud ai so we have imported the code generated by bolt in our vs code the script generated by bolt has to be run manually and this is the script you can see in the script it is using google api to generate the blogs it is automatically generated this prompt where it is asking gemini to create a blog which have a compelling introduction it expands on the key points from the video add valuable insights and context include relevant examples and applications and also end with a strong conclusion and it has also asked to format the content in markdown now i want this script to run automatically so let's go to claude and ask it this is the prompt i have written for claude i am asking it to suggest how i can run this script automatically currently i run it manually it has given this awesome solution where it is asking me to create a github action it has even generated the script for this what you have to do is you have to generate a github directory and create a blog generation.yml uh, it is also asking me to create a secret where 
which will hold my Google API key. Do I even ask it whether it is free? So it has done the calculation for me and based on the calculation, it says that I will be able to run this with free tier itself. I have checked out my uh, repository to GitHub. So this is a private repository. It's not public. And under the action section, you would find the action that you had mentioned in your YML file. And this also shows that it is running regularly once a day. When you click on it, it will give you the logs as well. It does everything for you. It installs Node.js, installs dependencies, and then it finally runs the script. So it's, it just says found 27 videos in cache. So here also I built a cache uh, so that API is not called again and again and blogs are not regenerated. So it maintains a cache of the videos it has already processed so that blogs are not regenerated again and again and our API tokens are not wasted. So the fetch YouTube functionality is working at two uh, stages. One is working in the GitHub repository for updating the blogs and another one it is also working here so that sync fails the website always remains updated. With all the pieces in place I synced everything to GitHub. Deployed it using Netlify and connected my custom domain through GoDaddy. And just like that, my fully automated AI powered website was live. I have placed all the prompt used for making the video in the description, which you can use to build your own website. So guys, this is my final website, which I have created after making few more changes. I have uh, added this home button and I have changed the footer as well and I have done it with the help of Bolt and Claude. Let's see the blog section since our blog script is working now. So you can see the blog has been generated as well for them for all the 27 videos which I've created till now. So let me open one of the blogs as well. So you can see the URLs are SEO optimized. It has the title of the video in the URL itself and you can see the blog. Here we have the title. We have the video here which you can play and we have the SEO optimized article related to this video which will enable SEO optimization for Google search and our website will start ranking. And this is also responsive. Uh, if you open it in a mobile device, it will automatically adjust. This is how the home page looks. This is how the blog page looks. And I had created this website only two days ago and see how Google is ranking it. It is already at number three on the Google search for our channel name. Obviously, the channel is at the top. Then we have Larry Allison and then this is our website. Fully functional website, which is SEO optimized. What more can you ask with uh, almost few hours of work? But this is just the beginning. If I get 1000 likes on this video, I'll show you how I'm taking this automation to a whole new level in my next video.